Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Bill. I'm a prepper and I'm living in the Philippines. This short clip here is going to be the intro to a new series that I'm going to start creating where I talk about freeze-dried food, specifically Augustine Farms, and where I open them up, take a review, and give you my solid feedback. Before I start getting into today's actual stuff, I do have, as you can see, a quite a large assortment of Augustine's Farm freeze-dried food. Now, some of this stuff has shelf life between 5 years, 10 years, and 25 years, and it is a good long-term if you're in the long-term food storage solution. Now, I'm just over 50, so I'm definitely looking at food that can go long-term because I will hopefully will be around long-term. Long-term food storage might not be for everyone because there is a cost involved with the storage, the space it takes out, plus the ROI, right? The price you're paying for branded freeze-dried food. Now, if you guys watch my videos, you know up top, all those black bins, that's all the food that I've been freeze-drying myself at a greatly reduced cost. However, freeze-dried food can be great, and it gives you a sense of security knowing that you have a lot of freeze-dried food in your pantry. And keep in mind, even as a person that owns a freeze-dryer, some of the stuff I don't want to make. I don't want to make powdered milk. I don't want to make uh, onions. I don't want to do a lot of things that I find that I'd rather buy. But anyways, so it's your personal preference as a prepper and how you stack your food storage. I have a mix. I certainly have a mix of canned foods, um, grain staples, and freeze-dried foods. I, I have a great mix. If, if you're curious about that, watch any one of my pantry videos. But this series, I wanted to actually open these cans up and cook it. I wanted to see if it's good. I wanted to give you my honest feedback about the taste of whatever um, flavor or brand I open. And then I wanted also just to double check. So that said, this is the intro. You're going to see the same intro on the next 10 videos in this series. But I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, remember to hit that like button. Continuing along with my Augustine Farms uh, survival food reviews, I guess is what you call it, test, taste, taste trials, testing. Um, my community, I put out a vote and you came back with honey powder as the next item you want me to test. Um, and I tell you, creamy wheat cereal is right behind it, it's very close. Now, what I have here is I have a 30 year shelf life can of the Augustine Farms honey powder, okay? It says it's 340 servings. It says just add water. Now there's not a whole lot of calories per serving, which is one teaspoon of dry powder, which is about the same as one teaspoon um, prepared. And there's really not a lot of nutritional value whatsoever, okay? It does add a little bit of sugar, and that's the main goal for this is for baking or a sugar substitute, um, coffee I'd imagine, or tea, this would be good in. Now, it has kind of complex, complex instructions here. It wants you to mix cold water in and then bring to a boil and then slowly cook for five or 10 minutes. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna do that and I'll tell you why, is I've seen a couple other people do this before and Boiling it just turns it into a hard sugar candy, which is not what I'm looking for here. So I'm just going to put in, uh, I'll go with two teaspoons of powder to a half a teaspoon of warm water, and I'm going to mix and let that sit and see how that looks. So I'm not going to show you opening the can. If you follow along, I've always had problems opening these cans. I did order a commercial can opener and it is physically sitting right here. I am just waiting for a moment to mount it to my table. Anyways, I'm gonna open up this can offline and I'll show you what it looks like. Two seconds. All right, so the last few little bits here. All right. So there is an oxygen absorber. Now I'm just gonna keep that in there because I'm gonna put that right back in when I repackage this. Now I would say by looking at this that it's probably a little over halfway full. 
I definitely wouldn't call it um, too full at all, but uh, it's definitely a powder. All right, so I am going to take two teaspoons on my best estimate, all right? So I'm gonna use, this is a tablespoon here, and I'm gonna to try to get some of the powder. Let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm trying to get some that's already powdered up here pretty good. So, and I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Now, I'm eyeballing this. Now, I'm gonna tell you honestly, the, the main reason I got this powder was as a sugar substitute. It was never my intention to make it anything other than that. All right, so here's one bit of water. And that is all I'm supposed to add. I might have added a little bit too much, to be honest with you. This is what it looks like inside here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix. It smells like honey. You can absolutely certainly smell the honey here. Without a doubt. Now maybe they want you to boil it to reduce it because this is just a little wet, much wetter than I would consider honey. And I don't think it's sugarized yet. So if you can see here, what I'm dealing with is just a little wet. It smells really good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it downstairs and stick it in the microwave for a minute to bring it to a, a boil. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. So stand by. Two seconds, and we'll take the test to the next level. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and repackage up this powder. All right, guys, I am back downstairs. I didn't do anything, and it's still kind of runny. I'm gonna drop in the microwave here at high speed, and it's sizzling right away. I can hear it snapping and sizzling. So I'm going to just kind of heat it up. I wanna get it to the temperature of a boil without actually having to boil it because I'm not going to boil a tablespoon of anything it's just going to stick to the pan I'll probably burn myself on this all right so the color did darken with just that little heat application it is a little bit browner than it was before and it's definitely a lot more liquidy. I'm just gonna dip a spoon in here real quick and let me just see if I can take a quick test. Mmm, very sweet, extremely sweet. This has a, a mild honey taste compared to the honey I'm getting out here, the natural honey from the farms, but it's definitely sweet. You get that raw sugary taste. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, this would be good on a pancake, right, or, or, or teas. So it almost is a syrupy maple. Well, I don't want to say maple because it's honey, but it's like a syrupy taste. Mm. But you know what? It's, it's pretty good. So again, this is something I wouldn't use as an actual honey because I do have jars of honey in my uh, long-term storage. But this would be good for a sugar substitute in baking, um, coffee, tea, cereal, or anything. So overall, I think the honey is a good thing to have. It has medicinal purposes as well as um, the sweetener um, aspect of it. So I would give the Augustine Farm powdered honey a, a good strong pass. I like it. I, I still think natural honey stores forever as well. And if you have access to cheap natural honey, that's probably the way to go. But uh, yeah, so that's my review. If you like these kind of reviews, and I know you do because my community says you want to see these reviews, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below. If you feel like sponsoring or helping this channel in any way, there are options lift, listed down below in the description as well. And that help allows me to buy new products so I can do new videos for you guys. All right, guys, until next time, everyone, please be safe. Thank you.